Hello my soccer universe, tonight the big matchup between Manchester City and Real Madrid is happening at the Etihad, everyone looking forward to it, I decided okay, it's time for a collection video and we look at this Manchester City shirt and I'm wearing the Real Madrid shirt to kind of even things out. Now uh, this shirt is from a 12-13 uh, season, it's the home jersey. And I actually have quite an uh, interesting history with it because um, when this came out, I was uh, still living in America, <laughs> last half year in America, and there was this great store, World Soccer Store, uh, store which had their big um, storage air area just a half hour drive from where I was living in Greensboro, North Carolina. And yeah, if I would have figured that, that out sooner, <laughs> who knows what I would have done in any case. Um, this store usually sent out, uh, you know, remember the nice, when they sent out the little uh, booklets with the shirts they have and the newly released shirts and, and, and so on. And I very vividly remember, this was one way of me finding out, that was 10 years ago, about new jerseys, to look through these uh, catalogs. And they had this jersey up there and it was Mario Balotelli. And I remember uh, saying, and this was Manchester City coming fresh off their famous Aguero uh, Premier League triumph. And this was the next shirt from the uh, um, tailored by Umbro line. It's also the last Umbro shirt. And I remember seeing this one with Mario Balotelli and thinking, stylish, but it looks a little bit off. Because, you know, uh, the black, the light blue and the black was not a combination that I was really, really uh, so familiar with. I do have to say, though, that I think this is one of the nicer versions for that. And for Uruguay, I don't mind it. But for Manchester City, I always prefer the light blue paired with uh, white. My personal choice. But I didn't get the shirt back then. Uh, I didn't for a long time not even get a Manchester City jersey and speaking of that when leaving America I think you know I was still wearing soccer jerseys and in the heat of North Carolina summers even more so and I, I remember wearing my Argentina shirt and going to a, gro a grocery store and a guy in front of line and you know Americans um, at least at that time were kind of you know we want to show that we know a little bit of soccer so we recognize some, 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 something and very often they recognize the wrong shirt so when I was wearing a Lusk shirt they, I, I ran, hey buddy, you wearing Juventus? No, I'm wearing Lask. Haha. -ha. <laughs> and same thing happened here. I was wearing my our, our, our Argentina shirt and wait, wait, waiting line, a guy turning around. That's Manchester City, isn't it? I'm sorry, guy. This might be Carolina blue, but it's Argentina. Oh, yeah, stupid me. So, those are my Manchester City stories from uh, America. How did I get this shirt? Um, I made a long time ago, I think this is well, two years ago, I made a lengthy video where I went shopping with you guys. This was one of the shirts I picked out for, for, for that uh, together with, I think a total of four others. There was an Udinese shirt in there. There was the Porto shirt in there, which is one of those compromise uh, shirts that I have. There was a fourth one in there that I have forgotten, but you can watch the video. I link it up here uh, and this was the one uh, that I really because I thought I have the Manchester City away jer uh, jersey but I really would like to show a home jersey as well that's the one that popped up and since I remember the picture with Palotelli I thought yeah fits quite well what I also distinctly remember when I got this shirt is that it was sold with the collar being like this and then I remembered the Balotelli look that the collar should be turned around and it actually uh, makes a little bit more sense and yeah I have, have to say it does look classy and I, I, th I think the way that it's cut and so on is really nice also uh, was kind of pleased that it's still the old crest I would have preferred full color but I think it gives the whole jersey a very unified look with also the uh, Etihad Airways sponsor right here um, it is an XL uh, it says here yeah, 48, 448, so this is more or less an XL style. It is, of course, tailored by Umbro, which was one of the greatest uh, lines uh, that ever came out. And I have, have, have to say, the material for, for this shirt is super soft and super nice. has a slight, very, very, an idea of a stretch to it, but mostly it is so soft. This is actually a super 
comfortable shirt to wear. Uh, I don't have sleeve patches on this one, which is maybe something that could be remedied at a later stage. I actually like that uh, also, you know, stretchy uh, sleeve cuffs with a little bit black inside. But it doesn't have patches, but it has a name set. And it has a name set that I actually enjoy. There are not too many Manchester City, City players where I say, yeah, this is a player that I really would like uh, to have. But David Silva, I'm going all the way for it. And this is not a plastic, but also this kind of felt name set, which I enjoy even more. Uh, I really wish that, uh, that, that we would go, go back more to felt na name sets than, than plastic ones. That one will hold up a teeny bit longer and as you see or already the way that the lines are cut it is it's a super comfortable shirt to wear and it's actually quite a class shirt while it doesn't fit my initial notion of what a Manchester City shirt should look like it comes darn well close uh, in terms of style uh, among my favorite shirts to wear although I don't wear it that often for yeah I guess obvious reasons the one thing is that this crest is the Manchester City, City, City crest that I got used to. Um, the three stars, purely decorative, has no meaning whatsoever, which is for me the oddest use of stars on a, a soccer crest that I've ever seen. Uh, but you know, I don't mind it. I think the new one is better, but this one is, has kind of a little bit of a sentimental feel to me. Now, when it comes to the 12-13 season, this is not a typical Manchester City season. Uh, fresh coming off the championship, they actually had a little bit of a dud. Yeah, finishing sec second in the league, maybe it doesn't sound so bad, but when you see that they were, I think, uh, over 10 points off Manchester United, um, yeah, 11 points off Manchester United, that's the last title for United, um, already tells us it was not so great. In addition, they played in the Champions League and got knocked out in a pretty cool group with Borussia Dortmund, who won that group, ahead of Real Madrid, ahead of Ajax, ahead of Manchester City. Manchester City only on three points, three draws. Real Madrid still couldn't win at the Etihad, which is uh, an interesting side note there. The two draws came, of course, all at home. So they drew all the three sides at home and lost away from home. And they were out of the Champions League. But I think worst of all, they lost the FA Cup final after beating Chelsea uh, at Wembley. To reach the final, they lost them to Wigan. And Coach Mancini duly got the sack after that. So uh, not the best season. However, the players, we already said, there was David Silva in there. Of course, Sergio Aguero. Of course, Mario Balotelli, Carlos Tevez, Yaya Toure and James Milner round out famous players who have worn the jersey. My first light blue Manchester City shirt. Meanwhile, I have a second one, a little bit of a more modern crest to it. So yeah, let me know what you think about this jersey. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so to get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.